Okay, so we're going to go through uh, some questions to practice ready for paper two and paper three. Uh, so this one's a calculator question. In fact, all of them's now calculator guys, so I keep using your calculators for everything. Um, so we press the fraction key and we type in what we see at the top. So 3.5 times 0 0.71 close bracket all cubed. And then we want the square root of 8.2 squared, take away 7.5. Okay, so that should be everything written in correctly. Just check it. 3.5.7 cubed, 8 point, yep, so press equals. Okay, so it says write down all the figures on your display, so make sure you follow the instructions. So 1.9853933. It then says round your answer to three significant figures. So, uh, sorry, two significant figures. And two significant figures means we find the first non-zero digit. So that's going to be the one. So that's the first significant figure. So we're going to cut this number there, and we check whether the third significant figure changes the second one. It's more than um, five hundredths, so that's going to change that to ten tenths. And of course, we can't have ten tenths in a column. So we put a zero and move the whole one over. So the answer to two significant figures would be 2.0. It uh, must have the zero because it wants two significant figures, so it needs two place values to be uh, spoken about. Okay, so next question goes on and talks about uh, powers of five. So when we're times in with the same bases, uh, the base number being the uh, big number and the powers, then we add the powers. So this will be five to the power of ten. Uh, when we're dividing with the same uh, base numbers, then we take away the powers. So this becomes 5 to the power of 8 to take away 5, which becomes eight to the, uh, 5 to the power of 3. Uh, and then when we're raising a power to a power, then we times the two power numbers. So 5 to the power of 10. Now remember these only work uh, because they've got the same base numbers of uh, powers of 5. Um, the next question talks about... Um, an expression. So we've got to remember an expression is a series of uh, terms with numbers, uh, numbers and letters, or just numbers on their own, or terms on their own, uh, letters on their own. So it wants us to write it out for the cost of four teas and five coffees. Well, they're saying that a tea costs tea pounds. Uh, if it was two pounds, we'd be doing four times two, but uh, it's tea pounds, so we're going to do four times tea and coffee. It's um, five coffees at C pounds per cup of coffee. So if it was five pounds for a cup of coffee, then we'd be doing five times five, but we're doing C pounds, so it's five times C. And it wants the cost of all of it, so we're going to add these together. So 4T plus 5C. Um, these kind of comparison questions, then calculator paper, so turn everything into like by like, so easy uh, to compare decimals. So turn our fractions. So uh, three cents press equals. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, press the change key. So 0 0.428 will do. And press the fraction key. Five elevenths press equals change. 0 0.45. Okay, so. When we look at these, then and there's a percentage to decimal we divide by 100, so it becomes 0.465. Okay, so when we look at these, then we can see that that's got 40, that's got 42, 46, 45, 46. So this one's the smallest. So it says write it in smallest, and it says write this list. So make sure we're writing the original numbers. So 0 0.046 is the smallest. Um, the next one, this one's got um, two tenths, uh, sorry, two hundredths, six hundredths, five hundredths, six hundredths. So it's going to be this one next, so that's three sevenths. And then we've got um, five hundredths, six hundredths, six hundredths. So this one next, so five elevenths. And then we've got 0.46 terminates, and then 4.65, so this one's smaller, so 0 0.46. And then we finish with 46.5%. Okay, so it's a case of just checking um, place values, and then because uh, they all have four in them, 
in the tenths column. Then we have to look at the hundredths that had zero hundredths, so it had to be the smallest because uh, those had six hundredths and five hundredths and so on. Okay, so those are a few questions. Let's get the next one. So this question talks about a bank account uh, paying compound interest. So that means we're going to be thinking of using a percentage multiplier um, because each year is increased by something and we had an original 100%. So we've got 4.7%. So 4.7% is equivalent to 0 0.047 as a decimal. But because we're talking about a percentage multiplier, uh, it's above the original 100% because we're going to increase because interest gets added on and we're going to times by 1.047 um, and in the second year is 4.2% well, similar principle 4.2% as a decimal is 0.042 but as a percentage multiplier when we're talking about an increasing situation then we add it to 1 uh, for the original 100% which will be what was at the end of the first year then this is going to be 1.042 um, she starts with 1500 pounds Okay, so at the end of the first year then, we're going to have the £1,500 that we originally invested times 1.047 and at the end of the second year, We're going to have the original £1,500 times the 1.047 times the 1.042. And it says work out the total amount of money in the account, so we don't need to do any takeaways or anything to take away the original amounts. This will be uh, the answer. So we've got 1500 times 1.047 times 1.042 equals. So we've got an answer of 1636.461, but it's money, so it becomes £1,636.46p. Really important that you remember with money questions that you write down the decimal, two decimal places only for the answer. Okay, so that's the uh, compound interest uh, question. Um, we've got a question here that's asking us to think about sales. So in a sale there's 45% off the price of everything. So that's the same as times in by 0.55. So we need to remember that if you get 45% off, then it's like doing the 100% that you originally had. Take away the 45% and you've got 55% to pay. And to work out 55% of anything, then we times by 0.55. Um, for the last day of the sale, there is a further 10% off all sale prices. So that's the same as times in by 0.9. Okay, so because you've got 90% left. So Mrs. Markson says it's, it's, it's a total of 55% off. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so is she correct? Alright, so 0.55 is what we had to pay off the original price, so we had an original cost, 55% left to pay, and then we had 0.9. So if we look at the combined effect of those two things, so 0.9 equals, so that's 0.495. So that's the same as doing the original cost times 0.495. So we have 49.5% left to pay, which is equivalent to a discount of 100% with the original. Take away the 49.5% and you're left with 50.5% to pay. All right, so we had a discount of 50.5%. Um, Mrs. Mandelson says this means there's a total of 55% off, so uh, we finish off by saying, because is she correct, so basically we need to finish off then with Mrs. Mandelson is not correct, as 
the discount was actually oops, 50.5%. Okay, so that's the way that question works because we need to be careful that we've understood that it's 10% off all sale prices. So we're not taking 10% off the original amount, which would have been a 55% uh, discount because we're 45% off, and then the further 10% off the original price. But it's 10% off the sale price. So we've got to work out 10% of what we end up paying after the first offer. Okay, so there's a few questions to get you going.